In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to add an email sending domain to your HubSpot account. Uh, in short, the email sending domain is just a way for uh, both email clients and HubSpot to verify that the email address that you're sending from is a verified address. And it's not some sort of spam tactic or you know spoofing tactic that you know could potentially get your email flagged as spam or some sort of you know sketchy or malicious uh, content or sender. So essentially, to send to connect your email sending domain, you want to go to your portal settings and the gear icon in the top right. And then the left, you want to go to domains and URLs. And then scroll down. You want to find you see this email sending domain section. You can see any existing uh, email sending domains you might have. But because we're connecting a new one, we're gonna do do this orange button in the top right. Connect a domain. I want to choose email sending domain press connect it's gonna ask me okay who would I be sending emails from so you know if I'm connecting you want to be something like Patrick at let's say direct development dot org again because this is new and it's a dot org not dot com um, so it's basically gonna pull you know saying all your emails or the, some of the emails you send are gonna come from this direct development dot org you know email address I'm gonna press next and it says, okay, the email sending it's gonna be the name, whoever's not it's not necessarily Patrick, it could be Tony or Zach or Shane or Teresa. Um, and I'm gonna press next. And then I'm gonna see this page, which is basically just uh, a way to walk you through this process. Um, so essentially, depending on your DNS provider, it's gonna to change each time. Uh, but kind of the end goal, right, is that you're going to be adding these two CNAME records as well as an additional TXT record. Um, and so basically you have your host names here and you have your values for those host names. Uh, and so you want to log into your DNS provider, whether that's Network Solutions or GoDaddy, Namecheap, you know, Google Domains, whatever it is that you're using. And you're going to want to manage the DNS for that specific domain. And remember, we chose directdevelopment.org. So I want to... Uh, manage the DNS for directdevelopment.org and add these two CNAME and TXT records. Once those are added, you know, I'm going to press done here. HubSpot's going to try to verify that the changes have gone through. Um, normally, this could take something like, you know, 30 minutes. It could take something like 12 hours. It could take 24 hours. Um, it shouldn't take more than two days. If you're kind of gone past two days and still nothing has changed, um, you're going to want to check again and make sure that, you know, maybe if you're using, you know, GoDaddy and you enter the records manually, HubSpot does also allow you to automatically um, use a integrated uh, GoDaddy process to kind of set it up for you. But if you do it manually, um, in some cases, this directdevelopment.org is already added. Um, so if you actually add uh, this, you know, domain key entirely, it could be this one with an additional directdevelopment.org appended to the end of it. Um, so just make sure that at the end of the day, when you're checking your host names and your values, that it really is just this value and there's no automa automated uh, appending of specific values or top level domains like directdevelopment.org being added to the host names or the values. Um, that is a common issue when it comes to uh, you know adding these CNAMEs and TXTs manually, so just be aware of that. And then once those records are verified, you know, this record invalid will, ch will change to a green sign and it'll be approved. And then HubSpot will take care of the rest of making sure that these, uh, these email sending domains are approved and then you'll be able to send emails uh, from HubSpot just fine. Uh, and that is it for connecting your email sending domain.